Traditionally, we say it's nutrition. We have uh, two parts of nutrition. We consider, first of all, macronutrient, which covers more than 90% of the food we you know, come from, 90% of food we eat. And we use those macronutrients to produce energy. Basically, what we have is uh, carbohydrate, okay, sugar, or glucose. And then we have um, protein, which you know break down to peptides and amino acids. Okay. And then we have fat, fatty acids. Those we use for energy purpose only. But less than ten percent, okay, we categorize them micro, as a micronutrient, which will include <coughs> amino acids, which you know we have essential amino acids that our body cannot produce. We have to acquire them from food. And nitrogen. And then um, we have uh, fatty acids, essential nitrogen, okay, and then glucose, and then we have, have vitamins and minerals and base elements. And then not too long ago, we add dietary fibers into that category to be part of a micronutrient. And then more and more, especially in Asia. China. Now, government would like to put also what we call phytonutrients, you know, in that category. So, so far, we are not providing any nutritional products right now. Okay, what we are providing as these three products, then it is introduced. First of all, F21, and then pearl and honey tea. Now, all these three are like seatbelt for you okay. to protect ourselves from getting problems. Sugar problem. When we see sugar problem, we are here. F21 will take care of toxic process added sugar. Sucrose. Okay. That's what we're talking now because it's toxic. And then later on will try to take care of other sugars, including mainly just glucose, you know, from some other source. For example, like from starch. Okay. And then uh, the last one we like to introduce will take care of most all the unwanted sugar after we process that, you know, going through the uh, um, the circulating system. Okay, we want to get it so people will not have to worry about <laughs> diabetes, pre-diabetes. Okay. So that's the first product, you know, we try to help ourselves to not to get those sugar problems. Second of all, of course, free radicals. I guess uh, so far, I think you can all think just, you know, actually not only the uh, free radicals were dealing with, I use this product, only this product for myself, because I had huge, very, very bad, if it's not worst, allergy, you know, for myself. You know, years ago, I could not even stand here without wiping my nose or try to, you know, get shot, you know, to calm my system down, so I wouldn't have that kind of reaction. But now, after that, basically, that helped me to calm or rebalance my immune system, calm my immune system, immune system down. So that really helped me. But then with the uh, the feature, you know, this is about those uh, mushrooms. You can see now not only we can rebalance the immune system because those mushrooms are very unique. You know, from the uh, uh, the uh, the white papers we're going to you know, put on the website, you can see these mushrooms will have anti-infection, anti-inflammatory, and a very important for me, immunoregulatory or immunomodulatory effect, you know, to help our, help our body to not get those kind of problems. Okay, commonly in turn, we use two if you look at the, uh, the package, you can see, you know, nourishing and cleansing. 
nursing part will be very important for us too because our body can do a lot of cleansing work in our liver, our kidneys.